Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to we Let's Play Might and Magic 10. We all know these parts are full of brigands, right? Today we'll kill brigands, yes. Uh, I'm voting we make camp. <sighs> we'll be Who's killing the master of the thieves, the brigands, in these woods. And that is a good test for our new idea. This target is known to us from the other Let's Play with the Blade Dancer group. He has the ability to get bonus attacks day to for every journey. attack that we miss. That is not our problem because we're not attacking very much. And besides that, he's not that dangerous actually. Yes, he can stun a little. This will be easy. Not our greatest concern so far, I guess. And he can take damage, so can we. And he has no ability like the guy in the lighthouse that he can push us over the edge or something like that. And that's the reason I think we have a fairly good chance of dealing with that guy. It smells musty in here. Oh? What is that? So that is nothing we have not already huh? discovered. What is that? So down we go. The question is, well, I think first thing we will get ourselves as fast as possible is the water blessing. Well, it's a bit early to talk, I know, but the water blessing gives us the best NPC I know in this game, and that is actually the one that blocks four attacks a turn. I find this utmost impressive. So, here we are. Here we rest. Looks like they smelled it. Here we go. Who forgot to take and a bath? Kick his ass. Yes, he's an evil guy and he's on the list. Something is coming our way. Yeah, he's Be coming ready. our way. And we're nailing him. Woohoo! Guess what? First step. This means you cannot block. I feel stronger. This means we have shield. This means you have no more armor. And this means I kick you in the face. Ooh, nice try, Paul. I should really use that. He took our armor. That little evil son of a... I don't say what he is. Hmm, impressive. Okay, you're... You're annoying me, actually. Okay. Relitation, that's funny. Kick him, kick him, and for obvious reasons, you take a poke. No! It can't be! Oh! That hurts! That is impressive. But not as impressive as it could be. You hit, you hit, and you take a potion. <laughs> You must rise shields again. Okay, we must do something about this hey, blocking. That's gonna leave a mark. Take a potion, take a potion, and hit him in the face. Hmm, that is not going as planned, is it? But on the other hand, we're not really in tr any trouble at the moment. Oh, he resisted. How does he do that resisting crap? Ah, that hurt. That was not nice. And now you're as good as that, Paul. Yeah! Yeah! This looks powerful. 
and it's a medium armor and that means it's 130 percent useless to us because we're not wearing any medium armor okay Do we know this place? Yes, we do. Are there no treasures here? Nothing at all. All right. Yes, more well, glory. Yeah, fewer companions, bigger shares. Well, at least we got a level up. But that there is no chest and nothing, I find a little bit disturbing. But well, who am I to complain? Next step will be crucial. Now there's only one thing between us and utter victory and that is Mahamushi the Great. And that guy is a real pain in the ass, I tell you. But I know ways to take him down. At least I hope. We can get some extra points. The question is where to put them. Of course we need more sword fighting. That's obvious. Because that's the only way we can do damage and at the moment we're very, 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 very bad at doing damage. It mean it nearly took us a lifetime to take down that single guy. So, sword fighting it is. Sword fighting it is. More sword fighting it is. And more sword fighting it is. Confirm. I want one here, one here, one here, one here. Confirm. I want Dong Dong. Dong Dong. Wonderful. Because as important as doing damage is to survive. So very good. You are the worst, so you get that to drink. So what we need now is a little buffing, because let's be honest, we have no chance against Mahamushi if we fight fair. The only way to take that guy down is to pull all the strings we have, all the tricks we know. The dirtier the better. Maybe this guy can sell us a little bat trick on the way. That would be nice. Oh. Ah, this is night, but that, that is not actually helping us. Earth plate armor is nice, but it's not actually helping us. Nope, 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 nope. Nothing there that can help us. Yes, we will need um, this burning temptation later on. Wow, uh, thanks. But what we need more urgently is the ability of the shrines. Wait, do you hear that? What? No. It's nothing. Yes, I think so. I feel stronger. Yes, much stronger, actually. We're getting a lot of bonus here. A lot of bonus. And I intend to use that bonus to full effect. So, 
So, I think this is actually the most crucial fight in the game. If you can come past that, you can come past everything. Yeah. Well, nearly. And if you cannot come go past that guy, you're really pissed off because there's no way you can train, gather gold or anything if you not do not slay him first. This is not an open world environment and I find that really, really I sad. I wonder what happened to the ancient Shantiris. So... I'm doing this against the time because I have to sleep early to take care of my son in the morning. But I assure you that I'm doing my very best to do it in time. At least reach him in time. So... Have we taken that down? Yes, we have. Okay. Ah, sad thing we have no fire on our side. That would really, really, really help. Some fire spells or so. I think Mahamushi will not, will not like that. Okay. Here we are. And I think next time we'll see each other again. We will kill that guy. Until then, bye.